Protect our kids. That is the message from Roanoke City leaders. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman working for you tonight. She's in the newsroom. Abby, how are council members continuing to address this gun violence problem that we've been having when it comes to our young people? Yeah, John, City Council is facing a dilemma when it comes to gun violence and youth. According to the numbers, instances of gun violence involving children and teens are on the rise. The question is now what to do about it. You can't look at this and tell me that kids are safe in our city. Startling numbers presented to City Council Monday. Gun violence among youth in Roanoke continues to rise. Police Chief Sam Roman saying there have been 29 juveniles involved in an incident with a gun, 13 offenders and 16 victims. Yes. These are tough numbers. My position is what can we do other than if the parents do not want to be parents, what can we do to protect these kids and especially now? 10 News asked Roanoke Police for a breakdown of youth gun violence numbers. They say they're working on getting us a full report. Mayor Sherman Lee is pushing for change before summer starts and kids are out of school. Council looked Monday at expanding curfew hours, but according to city manager Bob Cowell, most incidents with juveniles occur outside of those hours. Roman says they need to stay consistent in their actions. Continue the course that we are on. I believe that we are seeing and will continue to see benefits from the course that we are on in terms of prevention, intervention, and then justice when necessary. But Mayor Lee demanded action. Parents are not being parents. And you got kids out there, they don't know where their kids are at 11 and 12 o'clock at night. Um, as mayor, I just can't sit by and say, oh, well, we'll catch them once the crime is committed. Council didn't make a decision on curfew yesterday. They say they want to look at other options, including after school and summer programs. In the newsroom, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.